Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new item that I received for review purposes. This is from a company called Writey Board. Now Writey Board makes dry erase boards that are custom sized for whatever it is that your needs are. What they do is they come rolled up kind of like a poster and then you unroll it and put it up on the wall or wherever it is that you need it. Now because they're custom sized and you can actually put them up and take them down, it makes it very modular. Now besides the dry erase boards, Writey Board also makes a desk that has a dry erase surface. Now I checked on their website and I quickly fell in love with the idea of having a desk that I can actually jot down notes, ideas, and things like that for videos or just everyday life. So I reached out to them and asked that they would be willing to send one over so I can check it out and they were gracious enough to do that. So I'll go ahead and take a look at it. I'll show you guys how it arrived, the packaging and everything, all the accessories that it came with. We'll put it together and then we'll put it uh, we'll, to some use so you guys can see what it looks like. Now before we get to the desk, I wanted to share with you guys some of the other accessories that came with it. So I have this um, Righty desk uh, or Righty accessory, I should say, spray cleaner. So this is gonna allow you to clean the surface whenever you're done with whatever notes you wrote on it or anything like that. They also sent this uh, microfiber erase cloth. So again, this is gonna help you erase uh, all the writing on there. And then obviously um, they sent some of their dry erase markers. So uh, here they are, they are chisel tip. Um, you know, you have your, your standard colors, black, blue, red, and green. But again, because it is a standard dry erase board, you can use pretty much any dry erase board markers. But it's always cool that they do offer uh, their own here. And they, they also have a couple of neon colors in the back. I don't know if you guys can make those out there. So depending on you know what kind of statement you want to do, if you want to get a neon, a neon marker so that it kind of sticks out so you for a particular list or something like that you're making, you know, you do have those options available to you. All right guys, so here is the box for the Righty Desk. On the top there it says the Dry Erase Desk. Now the desk is available in two different finishes as far as the top goes. This one here is the birch wood finish, which is, um, it kind of resembles more wood, but it, it is also available in a just a white top. So that one would resemble more of a dry erase board. Now I opted for the birch wood because I kind of liked the look of it. The, um, the legs are also black, so I think it, it kind of contrasts a little bit nicer. Now the white top with the black leg obviously gives it a more clean look to it. So, you know, depending on what kind of look you want to go for and where you're going to have it is the one you would choose. It also comes in two different sizes. I don't know if you guys can make out the size there, but this particular one is 23.5 on the width, 47.5 on the depth, and 29.5 on the height. Now the height is going to be the same regardless of what size you pick. This one is actually the smaller one of the two, so it basically rounds up to 24 by 48. And then they also have a 30 by 60. So depending on how big you want the desk to be, you can go ahead and choose that. So uh, I like the fact that you have different options as far as the size of the desk and also the finish of the top of the desk. Uh, both desks will be 29.5 uh, inches on the height, so just keep that in mind. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the box here. Again, this box weighs 90 pounds. This is the smaller one of the two options. So uh, if you do need some help, I would recommend that you get it. Um, you know, it's, it's not too big and it's not that heavy. Obviously, the legs are what's gonna weigh a lot. You know, they are steel legs, but also the top because it's, it's just a, such a firm top to it. So uh, first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and take off these straps here. Uh, nice and secure which I did like um, th this was actually shipped by a shipping company so they actually contacted me and asked when I would be home so uh, I can go ahead and sign for it so uh, obviously um, the shipping you could tell that they did take really good care uh, so it's not gonna come all dinged up or anything like that the, uh, the gentleman actually wheeled it all the way into, into the house and I was able to set it down where I needed it to go so that it gave me enough room to go ahead and build it all right, I went ahead and laid down the box and just took the top off. I didn't want anything to come, you know, uh, falling out or anything like that. So just looking inside, right in the middle here, we have some uh, accessories. So this is gonna be all your screws. There you go. This is gonna be all your screws and uh, everything that you're gonna need to go ahead and put it together. Uh, it says hardware right on this, uh, this red um, fringe right here in a bunch of different languages. And then you also have the uh, instruction manual. 
Um, just like anything else, I would recommend that you definitely go through the instruction manual, make sure that you have all the pieces that you need, and then just go ahead and follow the steps. So what I'll do now is um, I'll go ahead and get everything out of the box here and uh, lay it all out, make sure that I got everything, and then I'll start putting it together. All right, so before we get started, I went ahead and laid out everything. You don't need any extra tools. You actually have the tool included right there. And it just looks like it's a bunch of screws with some washers here. Uh, these two little boxes have the covers for the tech holes that are um, where you would feed any wires if you have like computers or anything like that. And then just the, uh, the foot pegs right here that will go on the bottom of the legs. So let's go ahead and start putting it together. All right, so before we get started building it, I just wanted to show you, I have all the pieces out of the box now. Um, I was mistaken, the legs is not what weighs the most. It's definitely the top. This is uh, nice and thick. It's about an inch thick, and it definitely feels very, very sturdy, which is nice. You don't want it to, you know, the top to be too light or too wobbly or anything like that. Then you have the legs here. I love the design of the legs. They're these uh, kind of Z looking patterns on them and then you have these other two pieces so all in all besides the top you just have four other pieces so it definitely feels like it's going to be pretty easy to put together uh, especially if you're not very um, you know mechanically inclined or construction inclined or you know if you just have a hard time putting stuff together everything is labeled all the pieces have you know uh, different labels on them as far as like a b c and d letters like that and then you also have um certain pieces that say front so you know which side is the front and which side is the back so it's definitely going to be pretty easy to put together All right guys, so at this point, I've already assembled the bottom part, of the metal piece that goes into the desktop. And then I assembled one of the legs that goes into this cross section here. I haven't attached it yet. So basically I just asked to kind of lay it in place. Um, I was kind of looking to probably attach the other leg first. That's what I would normally do. And then just, you know, putting it down and then just having to attach it directly. But the instructions call for it this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instructions. Uh, one thing that I did want to note is that with these uh, screws here, uh, they come in two different sizes. So you're gonna get six larger size screws. And those are the ones that you're gonna use to attach this metal piece to the top, to the desktop. And then the other um, kind of smaller ones are the ones that you'll use to attach everything else together. You know, when you start doing it, if you run into an issue, just check to make sure that you're using the right screw. I mean, if it's the short one, it's not gonna allow you to attach this piece onto the desktop anyways. So you will kind of figure that out pretty quickly. But if not, just keep that in mind. All right guys, so I finished assembling the desk all together. Uh, it took me about 25 minutes just to put everything together. So again, it is uh, very simple to do. You just follow the instructions. Um, they have the pictures on them, but they also have explanations at the bottom of the instructions, which are really nice. Now, one of the uh, last things that I have to do is put the little feet on the legs right here, and these just kind of screw down on there. All right. And they are rubberized, which is really nice, because that way if you, uh, you know, if you move it around or something like that, it's not gonna scratch up the, the floor or anything like that, but it's also gonna keep it in place. So these just um, screw in right there, and then right there. Once you get all four of those, you'll be good to go. Now, um, one last thing that I did wanna mention is that, um, actually these are pretty cool because they actually pivot, so when you put them down, they'll center themselves. Uh, one last thing that I did want to mention is that whenever you're doing any type of um, putting together furniture or anything like that, it's always good not to um, overly tighten all the screws just to make sure that you have everything right where it's supposed to go, everything that's in place. So once you know that you're good to go, then go through and you know tighten everything up nice and tight. Normally what I do is I just do like one hand tight uh, I hand tie them all and then once I know I'm finished and I'm good to go, then I'll go through and do like one extra turn or something like that just to make sure that they're nice and secure. But again, you also don't want to go too tight because you don't want to strip the screws or you don't want to um, mess up the hole or anything like that. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and turn the desk over and do the final step. 
All right, guys, before finishing the last step, I wanted to share one last thing with you. You guys notice on the floor there, I have these six long screws and that's because I actually messed up in one of the steps. If you guys look through here, the leg right here is actually in the way of the hole. So what I did is I actually put the top of the desk on the opposite way. So let me show you guys underneath here so you can see what I'm talking about. So you see that long piece in the back there? That's gotta be on the same side that your holes here are. So this is where uh, I just uh, let you guys know about not tightening everything down until you know for sure that you're good to go. This is why, you know, sometimes you think you're following the instructions correctly and something like this happens. So I went ahead and took those screws that out. So now I, all I have to do is rotate the top and put them back in and I'll be good to go. All right, so I went ahead and turned the top around. Now the holes are towards the back of the desk where they should be because again, this is where you're gonna feed any cables for you know power cables or monitor cables or anything like that. So it's not cluttering up the top of the desk. Now the last step is to go ahead and put in the covers right here for those two holes. But before I do that, the top of the desk actually has a film on it. So obviously that's done so that it doesn't get messed up or anything like that in transport or uh, as you're putting it together. I can tell you that this thing came excellently um, padded inside of the box. There was um, styrofoam and uh, cardboard and all that stuff. So it wasn't moving around or anything like that. They, are, they did a really good job at shipping this. So I can give them that. But before putting these on, I'm actually gonna take that film off just cause uh, I don't want it to get caught underneath the the covers here as I'm picking it up. So, uh, so this is quite satisfying to say the least. Wow. And I can already see how the shininess of the top of the deck here. Alright. So that is completely off. Now we'll open these up and Put them on, and these are kind of like a brushed metal look to them. It has like a little spot right there where it would go through. That's pretty nice. So just uh, put those in there, and we'll do the other side here. And it definitely gives it a really, really nice look. Uh, I think it's like a little dirty because of the oil from the screws, but I can clean that up. That's not a problem. So I'll put this one on the other side here and there it is. Uh, it's nice and finished. It looks really, really awesome. Again, this is going to be a really good tool, especially if you're like me and you know, you want to, you know, keep track of things without having to waste paper, uh, or, you know, put it on your phone or on your computer or anything like that. You know, this is right at hand. So let me go ahead and give you a better look at it. All right guys, so uh, here it is. I went ahead and washed my hands, uh, as I already mentioned before, uh, maybe putting in the covers here on the, on the sides uh, because of the oil on the screws and the washers and stuff like that, it got a little dirty. So definitely uh, wash your hands right after that before you start using the desk. But the surface feels really, really nice. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, uh, grippiness just because obviously the nature of it being a dry erase board. So that's good if you have your computer, uh, maybe a laptop or something like that on top of here, it, you know, because of the grippiness, it might not move around um, too bad or fall off or anything like that. That's just something that I, that I just uh, thought about. But um, here are the markers. Um, I went ahead and took them out of the packaging. Uh, they're again, chisel tip markers. So these are really cool. And you get those four different colors. And then obviously because it is a standard dry erase surface, you can use any dry erase marker out there. So if you already own any, you can go ahead and do that. The uh, microfiber eraser cloth uh, actually comes with two of them and it's just uh, kind of like the size of a washcloth, but it actually has their um, logo embroidered on there. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but really, really nice. So definitely a nice added touch just to kind of have it sitting around. Now the desk is perfect height for me. I just have a standard uh, kind of wooden office chair but um, I'm six foot four, so just for, uh, for comparison, so you guys can, can gauge it, and uh, this fits perfect. My legs are perfectly underneath it. I'm not bumping into it or anything like that, so you know, obviously uh, take that as, you, as it may, but I'll give you a closer look at how the surface handles riding on it and things like that.
All right, guys, I wanted to give you another look, more of a close-up look at the desk itself. Again, this is very, very sturdy. It's nice and wide, so it gives you a lot of work room, especially if you're gonna have a laptop or a computer right here in the middle. You have more than ample space on either side to write things down. So for me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using this, um, you know, to kind of help me remember of things to do during the day. You know, I hate having to have a hundred posters all around, sheets of paper and stuff like that. So I can easily, you know, have my laptop here in the middle. I can come here to the side and write myself a to-do list. So let's say to-do, give a couple of dashes. So we'll do some reviews. Um, we'll do some laundry. And then we'll do some dinner. All right, so as I'm working, I can easily glance down here. And then uh, when I get these items done, I can come here with a red one and just check them off as I start doing them. So it's definitely gonna help me keep in track. What's awesome about this is also, depending on where the desk is, you know, people can leave you notes. So if your kids are, are, are going somewhere or your wife is going somewhere, or your husband, they can come down and say, hey, you know, remember to pick up some milk or something like that. Again, not having to leave a post-it, they can just write it right on the desk itself. Then you have the cloths here, so as you're done, you can go ahead and just erase them. Makes it very, very easy to do that. And again, the desk is nice and sturdy, so um, this particular one is the birch, the birch wood top. So again, it has that kind of wood look to it. I really do like that look, but if you want something a little bit more um, classic looking, if you want it to be more of a, of a dry erase board look, then they do have the white top, which I think will contrast really nice with the darker, the, the black legs. But uh, again, this is, it's very sturdy. The height is perfect, especially for me, as I already mentioned. So if you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and leave a link to their site below. Uh, definitely check them out uh, if you want to check out the desk, if uh, maybe you want to check out the boards. Uh, you know, th those are awesome because they're customizable. You, you can get them in different sizes. Uh, you can put them up, take them down, and put them up somewhere else. So if you, you know, maybe the desk is not what you need, but you want something, you know, to keep you organized, then the, the boards might be for it, uh, might be it for you. So definitely check them out. And um, also the different accessories. Is, I think the spray cleaner is definitely going to come in handy, especially if you're going to have notes that are going to be left um, on the desk, on the surface for a prolonged amount of time. It makes it a little bit easier to kind of erase them with the cloths here. And, and these are really nice. I love the added touch of their um, uh, company logo right here, um, in, stitched into the cloth itself. So there it is. This is the Righty Desk from Righty Boards. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.